what is up everyone this is kiran here welcome back to tech kiran youtube channel this is pixel experience unofficial version based on android version 11 for redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 pro max poco m2 pro and redmi note s redmi note 9 s and this is available for all these devices which means this is a metal version can be installed on all these devices and this room seems to be really really great i'm going to share with you the geekbench score i'm going to share with you the end to the score i'm going to share with you a lot of things about this build also including a major bug which kind of a major bug for me first of all for me because i use that feature a lot so this is kind of a major bug for me i'm going to share with you all those things which are required in this video i'm going to share with you make sure to watch this video till the and let's get started guys first of all we're gonna take a look at the basic things that this is based on android version 11 as expected and this has the latest december security patch so this is, seems to be really nice this build the pixel experience unofficial build based on android version 11 is now available for a lot of devices like i already made a review for a pixel experience android 11 for redmi note 8 users if you haven't watched it yet i'll put the link in the description make sure to check it out that one if you're using redmi note 8 if you're using redmi note 9 pro poco m2 pro redmi note 9 pro max and redmi note 9 s you can check out this it comes with the december security patch it comes with the Atrus kernel pre-installed i tried the rebirth x kernel here actually not here but i tried the rebirth x kernel on the aos ip build which i have a video on that one that was one of the best ever battery backup base room this room is also not bad in the terms of battery backup seems to be really good but not that much weight like the rebirth x kernel Talking about the things you get here, Pixel Experience Room, we already know about that. It comes with all the live pixel wallpapers as expected. Just go here, come alive. Like here we have all these live wallpapers. There are a lot of live wallpapers available. And the best part is these are not lagging. These are not hanging. So just click here. It will be downloaded successfully after some time. You'll be able to apply this without any issues. Everything seems to be really working fine here. Just apply this and as you can see, and still no legs after applying the live wallpaper so this seems to be really nice you can apply the live wallpapers even live wallpaper does not affect the battery much you can simply hold here and as you already know pixel experience comes with the pixel launcher not gonna talk about that other things a lot of extra wallpapers are available there are new kind of ui available in the wallpaper section which you get in android version 11 and it's pixel one so that's quite good by default two by three that seems to be really nice let me show you a bug a major bug bluetooth turning on it's not working bluetooth is a bug it is kind of a really main feature for me because i have my smart bands mi band 4 amazfit and i was not able to pair it with my device this is the main kind of thing which i was looking for and bluetooth is not working a little bit of disappointing thing for me but okay that's is not this is not a bug for all of the users because not everyone has a smart bands not everyone use bluetooth nowadays just use for bluetooth media and something like that now let's take a look at the Antutu benchmark score first. Let's look at this kind of Antutu benchmark score which is 254617 which is quite good and according to the Android 11 build this is honestly great 254617 is Antutu score which you get here we're gonna compare it with the other rooms coming very very soon and thinking about the Geekbench score the Geekbench score seems to be really nice here let me show you by going here going to history triple five is the single core score and one double four eight is the multi-core score of course it's quite far better than the redmi note 8 which i was using previously but for redmi note 9 pro it's normal or average you can say not that much great but not that much bad it's normal but actually the scores does not matter i don't believe on these scores much because these are just about a lot of things and even we don't know what things they do what how the things they capture other things same kind of seams as you can see camera go google camera go edition is available tried some gaming everything seems to be working fine here no extra issues nothing else the room seems to be really good i already shown you the antutu b antutu benchmark score and geekbench scores you already got to know bluetooth is a bug i already shown you let's talk about the safety net status in my case safety net status has no issues but not by default let me show you one more thing if I go to the Magisk Manager here and I'm using the latest Magisk V21.1 and if you go for the things, the module which I've installed, of course I've installed the Magisk Hide Props config and I also have enabled the Magisk Hide option in the settings so that's why the safety net status is passing. If you don't know how to pass the safety net, I have a video on that. I'll try to provide you or you can simply check out how to pass safety net and you'll get the video easily. 
and also I'm using the full screen immersive gesture option because there was a pill there I don't like that so I just removed that I'm using this model also Electrolux Sense which is actually the fonts and as you can see I've applied the custom fonts which are applied systemlessly and working fine working great and also Gboard as expected has bug which has that option available as spacer behind the keyboard I don't know why but it's still present there Pixel experience does not come with any customization, so not gonna share with you any features. Same Android 11 stock look, same kind of things you get here. Security does not include the face lock, does not include the app lock, but fingerprint is available at least quite fine. Xiaomi parts also include the same kind of features, which includes a USB fast charge, a Linux mode, clear speaker, and a little bit of extra things. All the things I just wanted to share with you, I already shown you. I hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe me. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.